I'm just happy to be home, happy to be safe, and I'm happy they handled it really well. Alex Wood is one of the passengers on Alaska Airlines Flight 2059, so relieved to be safe. He and his girlfriend, Aubrey Gavello, were returning home from a friend's wedding when police say an off-duty pilot inside the cockpit attempted to disable the aircraft engines. Neither Wood or Gavello ever saw or heard any commotion. Did you hear anything at all that raised red flags? Nothing, nothing until the flight attendant's announcement that said we had a situation we needed to prepare for a landing. Okay. My boyfriend was up in the front, so we weren't sitting together, and he slept through the whole thing. So that tells you how calm it was. Gavello says the announcement was made about an hour into the flight. Then she saw flight attendants walk the suspect past her. I saw zip ties during, which was confusing because they had told us it was a medical emergency. Gavello says at the back of the plane, a flight attendant tried to calm the suspect, telling him, you're going to be okay. What was his demeanor? Yeah, he was tall, well-kempt, uh, had a lanyard, well, like, shirt tucked in, looked well put together. This is what it looked like after the emergency landing in Portland. We landed, and then about 10 police officers armed came on, um, walked straight to the back of the plane where I was sitting, and detained him and walked the gentleman off the plane. He looked dead in the eyes almost. It was almost like he had a psychotic breakdown. Um, and then the flight attendant got back on and told us he had a mental breakdown. Witt and Gavello both say this experience has raised some big concerns. With all love and respect for people dealing with mental health issues, um, it's a scary moment for all of us. Um, and I hope he gets the help he needs, but I, I also don't think it's acceptable for a pilot to do this and just be able to hop on the plane with this going on. Wood says he thanked one of the pilots flying the plane and he's grateful for what the crew did. Props to them for being able to keep us safe. Alex Wood and Aubrey Gavello both got back here to SFO around midnight after an emergency landing in Portland. Now, both of them never had any indication of what truly went on until they got home and they read about it online hours later. Live at SFO, Suzanne Fawn, ABC 7 News. Suzanne, thank you.